Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar briefly dipped on Thursday, hitting a fresh 11 week low around 65.38.40 before rebounding while the US dollar index eased to 103.90 as investors grew cautious ahead of the November the 5th US presidential election. Along with that, we also got an update on the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, the Personal Consumption Expenditures, or the PCE price index, which rose 0.2% in September, meeting expectations. Core PCE increased to 2.7% year over year, slightly above forecast of 2.6%. While consumer spending also increased, the market is now pricing in a 25 base point rate cut by the Fed in November. Focus now shifts on Friday's non-farm payrolls report and also the unemployment rate, which likely will increase volatility in the next 24 hours. And looking at the Australian dollar, we can see we've got a hammer and from there should increase further demand into today's session. And looking towards the region of 66.15 and on towards 66.5 and with the weighted challenge at 67, 10, 20, where the 60 day moving average is. Any pullback support is viewed around the level of 65, 10, 20. The euro also extends since posting a Dragonfly Doji and is on track for the challenge of 109, 05, 15, or even on towards the region of 110. Given how the market has performed over the last four days, any pullback is likely to be shallow and support is viewed around 108.25. Top side rejection around 153.89. He finally sends the balls packing as the bears crash the party and now looks towards the downside key level of 151.80. Break there should give further threat to the downside and increase momentum and may present the bearish sentiment to a potential target of 149 and reassess from there. The market was very whipsawed for sterling as the pound slipped to a two month low and now pressures the broad support zone at 128.40.50. Although we have challenged this level and has rebounded, any return challenge should again see strong demand. I feel the market is likely to pose a threat from there as the technicals haven't fully broken down and therefore could see a bounce back towards the region of 130 and reassess. Profit taking came back into gold as it pulls away from the key area of 2,800 and now looks towards the bottom side of the range, which comes in roughly around the 2,710.15 area. The heavy descent gives me an indication how long the market was. So therefore a little bit more profit taking before the next step back towards retesting the top side. So I've not thrown the tail in yet, as I feel there is further opportunities for a rise back towards that key level of 2,800 and reassess. Wrapping up with oil, the market has finally filled Monday's gap and now poses a slight threat to the upside as a clearance of $71 a barrel could see the market rally on to 74 and reassess from there. Any weakness I anticipate to be shallow and therefore support is seen around 69 2050 area. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, look at the interest report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new weekend. Mm -hmm.